Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing such a fun video. It's been one that I've been wanting to do for such a long time. So obviously by the title, I'm going to be doing a book unboxing. I will say that I don't normally buy this many books at one time. I did have a bunch of gift cards from Christmas, my birthday just passed and all of that stuff. So that is why I was able to purchase this many books. Without further ado, let's just get into the book unboxing. So the first books that I'm going to show are the books that are actually not in boxes. The books that I got at Barnes and Noble, local books stores and that I got gifted recently. I got gifted this <laughs> like what is happening? Okay anyways this duet by Rebecca Ross. It is A River Enchanted and A Fire Endless. I love Rebecca Ross as an author. I was super excited when I found out she made this and I looked on TikTok and it had such good reviews and everyone was like it's so much better than her other works and I was like sign me up. I really don't know what they're about. I think they're young adult fantasy so it's kind of like a folk tale is what I'm seeing. Girls are going missing. His childhood nemesis. Oh. Okay, it's an enemies to lovers. We love. Have I been in the fantasy mood recently? Absolutely not. But I am excited to get into these. Those are the first two. Should I like make a stack behind me? Yeah, I should. Oh, so maybe I should put them the right way. Next, I am going to show the book that I got from an indie bookstore on my birthday. I got Check and Mate. Got Check and Mate by Allie Hazelwood. This is a young adult romance. It's her debut young adult. I don't think she's ever written young adult before, which is super exciting. I know it's about chess, obviously, and they're kind of rivals in chess. I think she's quit chess and then comes back to like battle him. I'm super excited about this. A lot of my favorite book creators have said this is one of their favorite books of the year. Like Larry Reads really raved about this book. And I'm super duper excited to pick it up and read it. On the stack you go. Recently I went to Barnes & Noble and I really did not need to go into Barnes & Noble. Since my Barnes & Noble is so far away, whenever I'm in that area, I just have to go. And I feel like because it's so few and far between that I go to Barnes & Nobles, I have to buy books, which is like definitely not the case. And I also had rewards because I made another Barnes & Noble purchase in this video and got so many rewards. So I had money off and I did a buy one get one half off. So I consider this saving millions of dollars. I will always justify buying books, okay? Because why should I feel guilt for buying things that make me happy? I got Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter. I have two Lynn Painter books. One of them I really enjoyed. The other I I don't want to say the word hate but strongly disliked. I'm kind of 50-50 on Lynn Painter. I've only read her adult and people are like her YA is superior to her adult. So I decided to pick up her most famous one, Better Than the Movies. I know a lot of people love this, like Destiny Sidwell, Haley Pham really loves this book. So I know this is about a girl, he's her neighbor, pretty sure, and they don't like each other, but she has a crush on this guy and she's having Wes try and help her date her crush. There's a lot of rom-com references in here, like as you can see by the cover, rom-com references, like The Notebook, that's that one. And then lastly for the books that are not in packages is Pucking Around by Emily Rath. I did not know this book was getting traditionally published. I have been debating buying this book for so long when I saw it on that table I said girl you're coming home with me this could be one of my next reads because as we know I'm in my hockey romance era like I love hockey romance I'm super excited about this because I also have been wanting to get more into why choose after I read losers by Harley Leroux I'm like I need more why choose and someone recommended this to me I'm so excited to see if why choose is going to be a genre that I really really love I think it can be because I love how deep the connections go and how many connections we have in stories. I'm excited and apparently it's really spicy so I guess I'm gonna be the judge of that. That is the last book that is not in packages. I just realized I don't have scissors so I'm gonna go get scissors and then we're gonna keep going with this. I've got my scissors so let's start opening these packages. I'm so excited. I love opening packages. We're gonna start off with my bags. I don't need scissors for these I don't think so let's just get into it. love opening book mail okay in the first package we have behind the net by stephanie archer remember when i was like yeah i love hockey romance i'm in my hockey romance era yep i heard destiny sidwell talk about this book and she was like i was giggling and foaming at the mouth and i was like sign me up this is about jamie and pippa oh it's oh, it's assistant roommate she is his assistant and roommate oh my god he had a crush on her in high school that is so 
fun. I'm so excited to get more into hockey romance. Where am I gonna put it on my hockey romance shelf? Great question, I don't know. So many people have said this is their favorite book. Like if it's that good, I will buy it. Next, I have The Wrist. I don't know what book in the series it is. Jake Connolly though, and everyone on TikTok loves Jake Connolly. This is part of the Briar U series, which is like another series from the off campus. Oh, it's fake dating trope. Killing it. I love that so much. Next package, Amazon again. I don't know why they shipped it in two shipments, but like it makes it fun because I get to open more packages. Two books in here. I also got The Fake Out, which is the second book in the series, Vancouver Storm series. It follows Rory and Hazel. Oh, she's trying to get back at her ex and she wants to fake date Rory Miller her ex's rival, we love. And she is the team's physiotherapist. He's been obsessed with her since high school, but she tutored him. <laughs> oh my God. I'm in love with the book already. So apparently this series is so good and I'm super excited to get into it. And the other book I got is Mercy by Sarah Kate. And I think this is the last book in the series that is traditionally published. I think there's more in the series, but they haven't been published yet. She doesn't want to hurt him. She wants to punish him. I'm excited. My mom, actually, fun fact, we saw this in Barnes and Noble and she was like, that looks scary. And I was like, mom, you would be scared if you were to read this. I think my mom would be scared to know I have this. What my parents don't know won't kill them. This one came so weird. It came from somewhere else. Like it's not like traditionally published. So I think that's why it came so weird. Can you imagine I cut into the book? I would be horrified. I would be upset. Let's see. Oh my God, I didn't even cut into it. Oh, apparently there's a pull tab. Why is this? Oh tab did nothing like how am i supposed to get into this For what reason can like is this indestructible like this is okay i've got an opening why was that so hard to open like i felt like i was solving like an escape room it's the dare by harley larue i absolutely love the losers duet by harley larue it is my favorite dark romance ever you're supposed to read this before you read losers but i didn't and i still got a great experience but i wanted it on my shelf because I love them so much and this is just like a very spicy novella of what happens at a party like apparently amazon banned this book from their website the author they got it back up somehow like i don't understand how you banned this book like it was like taken off amazon like you couldn't purchase it super excited to read this now we have the big honkin box this is the big box we're gonna like crank this open we have lots of books in here like a box full of books is such a pretty sight to see. So the first book I have is Everything I Know About Love by Dolly Alderton. I heard this book from Steph Bohr and she was like, if you're in your 20s, you literally need this book. And it was my 20th birthday this month. And I was like, so I'm gonna get it. Wildly funny, occasionally heartbreaking. It's about growing up, growing older and learning to navigate friendships, jobs, loss and romance along the way. I'm gonna make another stack right here. Don't you worry. The next book I have is The Graham Effect by L. Kennedy, another hockey <laughs> romance by L. Kennedy. This is the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition. I waited to get this because I wanted the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition. It's about Garrett and Hannah's child and it's a second generation series. When I finish the Briar U series, I will be jumping into The Graham Effect. A lot of people love this as well. Larry Reed's really raved about this. He's rude and sexy as hell. We love. I'm super excited to also see the characters from off campus in here. Like, it's gonna be so exciting. We have The Play by L. Kennedy. This one is about Demi Hunter. Is he the one that was in off campus? Dean was trying to mentor a kid and his name is Hunter, I'm pretty sure. She's got a boyfriend. Oh. Except three months into our friendship, Demi is single and looking for a rebound. Okay. If you can guess, we have The Dare by L. Kennedy. Shocker. This is about Connor. The Dare seduced the hottest. Oh, it's a dare. Oh, it's called The Dare. That's fun. Do we know Connor? I can't remember if we know Connor from off campus, but that's fun. It kind of reminds me of After. Remember that was a whole bear situation, right? Or am I wrong? Might as well get the chase out of here. This is the first, I know this isn't the first book. This is about Colin and Summer. Summer is Dean's sister and Colin is or was Dean's teammate. I am super excited for this one because I loved Summer and I love Colin. He's like a nerd jock. Like, hello, does it get any better than that? When I read The Legacy, we kind of saw them together. 
because obviously the legacy takes place a little after. So obviously I get an entire series without reading the first one. So we have Praise by Sarah Kate. This is the first book in the Salicious Players Club series. Charlie Underwood wants someone to tell her she's good enough. She stumbles into a new job with a boss who brings her to her knees, literally, and shy about his particular taste. When he mistakes Charlie for a candidate to be his new submissive instead of his son's ex-girlfriend. What? You can tell I don't read the back of these books before I get them, which is like probably not good, but he offers Charlie a job as his secretary and nothing more. He might be twice her age and her ex-boyfriend's dad. Hopefully she is not really young or else I will not like it. I do not like when they are like my age. So I hope she's like older. I'm interested, I'm intrigued. I also love spicy books like so. Then we have the second book, which is Eyes on Me. He stumbles on a cam girl app and finds himself watching the one person he needs to stay away from his stepsister. Okay. I've read a step sibling romance before. Trust, I have. Uh, on Wattpad, that shit used to pop off. She has no idea he's the man on the other end of the video. He's hooked on the app and on her. Then I have Give Me More. Drake Nelson gets around and he's not afraid to admit it. So when his best friend Hunter opens the Salacious Players Club, now he's traveling the country with Hunter and his wife Isabel. But when demonstration at a new club involves Isabel and Drake, it comes with something Drake never saw coming, an invitation. Hunter wants Drake to sleep with his wife while he watches. I bought all of these books because I knew they were spicy reads and a lot of people love them. I am super interested. And the final book in this package is Butcher and Blackbird by Bryn Weaver. Guys, you know how long I've been wanting to read this book. I saw so many people talk about it on TikTok, on booktube, and I was like, you know what? I need it in my hands. This is a rom-com dark romance. Have you ever heard those two descriptors in the same sentence? No, you haven't. You literally have not. Because this is a rom-com between two serial killers. <laughs> the chance encounter sparks an unlikely bond between rival murderers, Salone and Rowan. They find something elusive. The friendship of two like-minded pitch black souls who just happen to enjoy killing other serial killers. So I'm guessing they kill bad people, maybe? And they do it in a game. And some people say that he's the best book boyfriend and I'm here for it. And also I love the cover. We have a pink cover y'all. I love a pink cover. Add that to the stack. That is the end. That is the final. Let's count. 19. Almost 20 books. Let's do a little recap of all the books that I got. Everything I Know About Love by Dolly Alderton. The Dare by Harley LaRue. Mercy by Sarah Kate. The Fake Out by Stephanie Archer. The Risk by Elle Kennedy. Behind the Net by Stephanie Archer. Pucking Around by Emily Rath. Better Than the Movies by Lynn Painter. Check and Mate by Ali Hazelwood. River Enchanted and A Fire Endless by Rebecca Ross. Butcher and Blackbird by Bryn Weaver. Give Me More, Eyes on Me, and Praise by Sarah Kate. The Chase, The Dare, The Play, and The Grim Effect by Elle Kennedy. That is the end of this book unboxing. It's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I love buying books. I had so much fun. I absolutely love watching these videos and I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below and subscribe if you wanna see more of my face and more of my videos. And I will hopefully see you guys in the next one.